Despite 25 years of consecutive annual economic growth, we can never take our growth for granted in this country, ever. This is the growth that supports our jobs, our incomes, our wages, the number of hours we can work, the sales our businesses can achieve, and in turn, the revenue that is needed to support our schools and our hospitals, to support Medicare, our pensions and our social safety net. It all comes back to growth at the end of the day. The Turnbull government will never take economic growth for granted, ever. In the 12 months to the end of September, our economy grew by 1.8 per cent. That's down on through the year terms from the 3.1 per cent result achieved at the end of June. In the December quarter, real GDP contracted by 0.5 per cent. In nominal terms, which has the biggest impact on the budget, the economy grew by 0.5 per cent in the quarter and 3 per cent through the year. Our annual real growth is still higher than six out of the world's G7 economy, second only to the United Kingdom. Higher than the US, Canada, Japan, Germany, and higher than the OECD average. The contraction in real GDP recorded in the September quarter is not just a reminder, not just a wake-up call or a warning about being complacent when it comes to economic growth. It is a demand to support economic policies that drive the investment needed to support job security, the hours and wages that hard-working Australians need to deal with rising costs of living, especially on electricity costs, and that businesses need to survive in a tough and competitive environment. Today's national accounts data demands the support in the national interest for the government's national economic plan for jobs and growth that we outlined this year. It demands it in the national interest. In the past, when we started the 25 years of consecutive economic growth, the Hawke-Geating government had the support of the coalition in that parliament as they moved through important reforms which helped set up 25 years of prosperity in this country. That work was continued and accelerated and improved upon by the Howard Costello government. Today, the Turnbull government remains committed to those same principles that drove both of those governments. And we're looking for partners in this parliament who want to go on that journey with us so we can set up.